What's up guys, this is Zane Rides and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video uh, we're going out fishing this morning. I got up a little bit later than I wanted to. It's about 8 o'clock so the sun's kind of getting up now. Um, which is alright, I'm just going after some crappie today. And we are fishing on Lake Minnetonka this morning. I went and checked a couple bays, and um, there were a lot of people out on the first bay I checked, um, which I kind of expected. Uh, but now I'm at another little bay here, and there's only a few people out here, which is really nice. So um, I'm going to go out here, see if we can catch some crappie. I've caught some crappie in this spot before uh, fishing open water, so I'm not sure how it'll do today. But uh, hopefully we can uh, get out and get some good ones for you. bit me not a big one but there we go crappie on the jig okay there's actually a lot of fish down there which is really good and this isn't even tipped with any with anything it's just straight up jig oh here's another really suspended fish a fish in 15 feet of water he's suspended up in five slowly working his way up Got him. Feels better. There we go. Decent crappie. Like I said, fishing in 15 feet of water, and this guy was suspended up in about five. There we go. This is crazy. They're so aggressive too. Got him. No! He just came off right the hole. That's what I love about this too is, not that I couldn't have caught fish in that other bay, it's just I wanted to find a bay that wasn't as many people. I just kind of like to try and get away from people um, the thing is, is it's not pressured at all, and probably hasn't been very pressured. Oh my gosh, what? And probably hasn't been very pressured this entire year, if this is how it looks right now. So, that's the nice thing, is that you can get out here and get away from all the people pressuring a lot of those fish that don't want to eat now. And you can kind of find a new bite, and just find some fish that are willing to eat, so... Bluegill are not hesitating to eat whatsoever. 20 fish on my screen right now, and pretty much every single one of them wants to eat it. <laughs> Holy crap, look at, look at the shoulders on that. That is a big bluegill. Oh my gosh. All right guys, well, the school has stopped biting a little bit here. Um, I still have just tons of marks on my screen. Um, but I'm kind of thinking what I'm on right now, I'm set up right on like the edge of this little basin. It's like a really, really small basin, like probably maybe 10 by 10 feet. 
and um, there's just fish kind of stacked up around it and there's a lot of bluegill um, I got some crappie mixed in earlier on but I think I'm gonna try and move out right in the middle of this hole to see if I can find some of those bigger crappie that are kind of stacked up in there but um, if that doesn't work obviously we know we can catch fish out of this hole here so we're just gonna move around a little bit see if we can find some crappie and hopefully we can get on them Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that, right off the bottom. Alright guys, so basically what's going on here is I had on, it was an ultralight rip and wrap. They were interested in it, they just, they weren't coming up to eat it. So I switched it up, uh, put on a jig. And it didn't really seem like they liked that too much either. So now I'm just fishing with um, a little uh, spoon. I don't It's not even tipped with anything. Got them. They were kind of acting like bluegill down there, so I'm not, I'm not surprised. On the slender spoon. Look at that right there. Beautiful bluegill. These fish I've noticed are very, very long. They've got a long tail and they're just, their bodies are super built, but they're really long fish. Alright guys, we made it back to the truck. It was a good morning. We were only out for about a few hours or so. Um, and I was hoping to get into some crappie, which we didn't end up getting very many crappie. We only got a few. Um, it was mainly the bluegill that were biting, but man, it was absolutely crazy. Like, I'm telling you, I probably fished ma uh, majority... I probably fished majority... I fished... Mm, you know what, I, mo the holes that I fish in the most were probably three holes. The entire time my screen was full of marks, like probably 
15 to 20 marks the entire time like it was crazy uh, obviously we didn't get into a bunch of crappie or any really like big big fish but I mean it was good to get out and try a new lake and we were able to find a spot that could definitely be a, a, a potential for um, some nice fish so I'm definitely excited to get back out and fish this lake some more I don't really fish Minnetonka very much um, and I probably should because I know there's some nice fish in here um, but we're slowly kind of breaking it down just uh, trying to see what we can get and um, it was definitely fun to make it out and catch some fish. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to learn some more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.